Breaking news on AP News. The AP class, known as the easiest AP class, AP Computer Science Principles, just got harder. Meaning that scoring a 5 on the exam won't be a walk in the park anymore. So what did they change, you ask? Well, let's take a look. So, according to College Board, given the implications of ChatGPT and other similar generative AI tools on the Create Performance task, adjustments have been made to the Create Performance task for 2023 to 2024. Basically, College Board believes that ChatGPT and other AI tools in general make the Create task too easy for users, so they decided to make it a little harder. Okay, let's review the new AP exam for AP Computer Science Principles. So the multiple choice looks the exact same, 70 multiple choice questions in 120 minutes, which is worth 70% of your overall exam score. And the question types look exactly the same, with 57 single select multiple choice about the general topics and ideas in AP Computer Science Principles, 5 single select with reading passages about a computing innovation, and 8 multiple select multiple choice questions where you have to select 2 answers. No changes to multiple choice, it's still pretty simple and easy. Now onto the create task. Wait, they added an FRQ style portion to the exam? Yeah, so according to College Board, students will now have an additional 60 minutes on the end of their course exam, the multiple choice part, to answer four written prompts about the code they wrote for their create task. However, you'll still get the nine hours of in-class time to write your create task. Now you just don't get any time to write, work on the writing portions of your code, if you remember from the past exams. Instead, you now have to do the writing portions on exam day. We can see that College Board states there will be four written response prompts in 60 minutes during the end of course exam. This, along with your code from the create task, will equal the other 30% remaining for your overall AP exam score. So what does this exactly mean for students taking the AP CSP exam in 2024? Well now, instead of having Google by your side to help you write about your code, you will now either need to pre-write your answers and try to memorize them before the exam, or just be very familiar with your code so when you go into the exam you can easily write the prompt. And yes, for the written prompts, you will have access to your code from the create test that you wrote, so you can use it as a reference to write your four prompts. Now, you might be wondering, do we know what the prompts on this exam are going to be? Or are we just going to get random questions since it's the first year they're impl implementing this on the CSP exam? Well, on the website, College Board states that provides actually four prompt categories that students should be ready to talk about. However, they haven't stated the exact questions from these prompts, since the 2024 exam is going to be the first one with these changes. So if you're taking the 24, 2024 AP exam now, you're going to have no past questions to review, and you're just going to have to try to base stuff off the prompts. Now in the description, I'm going to attach a link to the past questions students needed to answer about the code on the create task. I'm not 100% certain that the college board will use these exact questions, but we can assume that they'll do something similar to the questions. Overall, for students taking the AP CSP exam from now on into the future, the exam won't be as easy as you think, because these new changes actually might give you something to study for to get the 5. It is important to note that, at least in my experience, if you do really well on the multiple choice, but not the best on create task, you can still score a 3. But if you do want to score the 5 on CSP, you're going to get a near 100 on your create task. If you have any questions on the AP CSP course in general, please feel free to leave them in the comments, as I have personally scored a 5 on the exam and gotten an A plus in the class. So, I have pretty decent knowledge on the course. Of course, don't start stressing about the exam now as it is in next May, but you just need to start thinking about it more when that day comes. Anyways, I hope you found this information useful and have a great day.